We are moving forward. Hallelujah. Amen. We are moving forward. Hallelujah. Amen. Reflecting on his early days as a textile worker in Kaduna State, the special guest of honor at the Quadrennia Delegate Conference of Non-Academic Staff Union of Education and Associated Institutions, NASU, and Senator representing Edo North Senatorial District, Comrade Senator Adams Eric Oshomole said, Unionism can only thrive and succeed if the leadership and members are united to fight for the common good of all. He said labor leaders should not sit down and watch the government privatize public universities without a written document. He noted that a situation where academic calendar is no longer followed and students are made to spend longer years in school should not be encouraged because parents are not taking their children and wards to private universities, which is now affecting public universities and therefore called on all labor organizations to be more than ever united to fight for what is right and ensure that academic calendars are followed. I'm calling nationwide strike to make a demand. The fruit of that demand must also affect everybody, private or public. That is the logic. Otherwise, you do not call all the hunters to follow you into the bush to go and kill an elephant. When you have killed it, there's few people feast on it. I know that because potatoes. Comrade Senator Adams Eric Oshomole said the Workers' Social Capital Package, which is known as Workers' Contribution Pension Scheme, should be looked into as the money is supposed to be for the total welfare of the workers. But today, same is diverted to other purposes that is not directly affecting the workers themselves. On this, again, he said, the workers should be united and ensure that the federal government redirect the funds amounting to over 11 trillion naira to the original purpose it was meant for, especially housing scheme for workers. You cannot give me 6% return on my pension savings. I hear the interest rate in the bank is 25%. It means that I'm getting poorer. If they put that 11 trillion or more into mass housing, we work and still remain homeless. You start contributing from the day you are employed at 20 or 21 or 22, and by the time you are retiring at 60, you have contributed enough. And so you, you, you buy a house and they deduct, the way they deduct your pension, so you pay your mortgage. By the time you are retiring, if you don't have any other thing, you have a roof over your head. The guest of honor said any Nigerian government that truly wants the unity of Nigeria must and should desist from dividing trade unions just because they cannot withstand the superior voice of the unions who are fighting for a better welfare package for workers and other Nigerians. He said the good news is that President Bola Tinubu has promised to right the wrong of the past and assured them that the issue will be revisited. Because we fight to change our society, to reflect one that care for all. That will not go by sermon, by pleading. It must actually go by fighting. And therefore, fighting is the name. Struggle is the word. And as our neighbor song says, from the ashes of the old, a new world can still be born. And so from all the challenges that Nigeria face, a new Nigeria will be born. I didn't say can't be born. We be born. That we work for all. Where ethnicity, religion, all those primordial settlements will not matter. Earlier, the national president of NASU, comrade Dr. Makolo Hassan, said the theme of the conference, trade unionism in the era of economic crisis addressing the increasing level of poverty of the Nigerian workers, was chosen to bring to the fore issues affecting the welfare and condition of services of members, the development of the institutions, the social, economic, and political situations in Nigeria, among others. Price of petroleum products, corruption, epileptic power supply, tax policy, poor to decay infrastructure, excessive borrowing, import dependence, inflation, and other monetary policies of the federal government have contributed to worsening the economy, thereby putting the welfare of workers and Nigerians in jeopardy. Representatives of the various unions were in attendance. The special guest of honor, Comrade Senator Adams Eric Oshamale, while departing the conference, used the opportunity to urge all Nigerians to keep faith with President Tinubu's administration and believe that a new Nigeria can be born. The Nassau Delegate Conference is expected to climax on Thursday.
Dominic Adams and Liu Oshobele. For those who are attending the three-day national conference, the choice of the guests of honor is Excellency Senator Carmen Adams Eric Oshobele was asked against the background of what he has done for unionism when he was the president of the NSC between 1999 and 2007. They said his speech has further spurred them up to fight for the right all the time. From the NAF conference, Abuja, best orator reporting for Beat Beats.